Hi, I'm Zhipeng from Intel Labs. Today, I would like to present Jim, a novel approach to learn generalizable image matcher from internet videos. Image matching aims to find corresponding pixels between two images. Then, multi-view geometry can be applied to compute camera intrinsics, poses, and the 3D location of the corresponding pixels. As one of the most fundamental computer vision problems, image matching enables many applications such as visual localization, 3D reconstruction, SLAM, and neural rendering. Handcrafted methods utilize predefined heuristics to match pixels. Though widely adopted, these methods often perform poorly on challenging data with small overlaps, large motions, or textualist regions such as the example shown above. Another problem of handcrafted methods is that they can only produce sparse matching at key points. Learning-based methods leverage priors learned from data to achieve a much higher accuracy. However, due to the lack of large-scale and diverse labeled data, current approaches typically train and evaluate models separately for indoor and outdoor scenes. Such domain-specific protocol limits the generalization and makes the model perform poorly on zero-shot data such as the image on the top. Meanwhile, it also makes the trained model not practical for applications with unknown scene types. The goal of Jim is to produce a single model that performs well on diverse zero-shot data. To achieve this, we propose a self-training framework that can learn scalable and generalizable image matchers from unlabeled internet videos. In terms of scalability, Jim can be applied to various types of image matching architectures, such as DKM, Lofter, and Superglue. As shown in the left figure, the performance steadily and significantly improves with the increase of video data. In terms of generalization, Jim enables a single model to perform robustly on diverse zero-shot data. For example, Jim can even align the bird-eyed view images of 3D point clouds in the middle, which are never seen during training. We use internet videos for several reasons. First, they are easy to obtain, naturally diverse, large-scale, and evolve over time. Using YouTube tourism videos, we can easily collect large-scale data from various countries, scene types, and weather conditions. Second, the temporal coherence of videos allows us to create effective supervision signals without time-consuming structure from motion or manual labeling. The key idea of Jim is self-training using unlabeled internet videos. Given a new image matching architecture, and the downloaded internet videos, we first train the model on standard image matching datasets. Then we collect several complementary image matching methods, which can be either handcrafted or learning based. Next, we perform multi method matching, which finds dense matching between nearby video frames using the model trained on standard data and the complementary methods. These matches are then filtered by standard robust fitting methods. Image matching models often benefit from training on images with small overlaps. However, directly apply existing methods on such challenging data cannot create reliable labels. Hence, we leverage the dense and reliable labels generated between nearby video frames and propagate them to distant frames based on the temporal coherence. Specifically, we can obtain a reliable match between frame 1 and 3 if a pixel in frame 2 is matched to both of them. Finally, strong data augmentation is added to video data. And we train the final model from scratch using the mixture of video data and standard image matching datasets. Comparing to the widely used label generation method COMAP, Jim can process much more videos given the same amount of computation and time, without catastrophic failures, 
resulting in a much faster performance boost in practice. Unlike previous works that train and evaluate models separately for indoor and outdoor scenes, we construct a new benchmark, ZEP, which collects zero-shot data from diverse domains to thoroughly evaluate the generalization of image matching models. ZEP contains images from diverse scenes, weathers, and camera models. Using 50 hours of YouTube videos, Jim consistently and significantly improved the zero-shot performance of three state-of-the-art architectures. Without Jim, Superglue and Lofter performed even worse than the handcrafted method root sift on many subsets of our ZEP benchmark, such as GL3, BLE, and GTA. After applying Jim, the robustness of both models improved significantly and consistently across the board, making both methods much better than root sift. Also note that even with an older architecture, the superglue model trained with Jim performed better than the domain-specific models of Lofter. As shown in the left figure, the performance of the model scaled up steadily with the video data size and has not saturated yet. Our newest model, using 100 hours of video data, further achieved a 51.2 AUC, which significantly outperformed the 50-hour version. The significantly improved zero-shot performance also translates to downstream applications such as homography estimation and visual localizations. Note that a single gym model performed better than domain-specific models in their respective applications. Here are some visualizations. We first show two view matching results without using RANSAC for outlier filtering. Green lines indicate correct matches and red lines indicate incorrect matches. Jim is the only method that can find sufficient amount of reliable matches. Here is another result with small overlaps and a result with large motions. Replacing the sift matching with Jim, we can also significantly improve the output quality of Comap. Comparing to sift and DKM, Jim can reconstruct a larger scene region with less noise. Here is another example where Jim produced denser 3D reconstruction with more reliable geometry. Many neural rendering methods like Gaussian splatting use the output of Comap as the input. Using Jim to improve the robustness of Comap, we can also improve the neural rendering quality on challenging data. In this example, both SIFT and DKM-based COMAP cannot recover reliable camera poses and 3D scene structures, resulting in either catastrophic failures or severely contaminated renderings. Here is another example, where DKM and SIFT cannot provide sufficient initialization for Gaussian splatting. In the case where all methods can reconstruct the scene, a lower noise level of Jim also translates to sharper and cleaner renderings. Please check out our paper for further details such as implementation and ablations. We have released the Hugging Face demo and the source code. Feel free to try them out and give us a star if you find this work useful. Thanks.